everybody welcome back to my channel i know you probably hear the birds chirping in the background this is future jocelyn talking um so basically i'm gonna walk you guys through this video it's basically a random little day in my life i guess if you want to say um i was starting off at like an early morning shift um and that was like a little short clip just to show you guys um i guess my impulsive buying things or whatever and there was something that i found that i wanted to get and then coming back home and getting started with cleaning and everything i wanted to organize a couple of things to kind of get um me back on track with uh, my schedule I wanted to get a little more organized so here I'm just kind of separating things into categories and then I'm putting them into bags and everything so yeah I'm gonna let you guys watch that quick little clip right there Now here I am separating and organizing these perfumes, which is pretty much well overdue. I just started, you know, doing more categories. That's how I like to separate things. And um, I did like the old ones that I don't really use anymore. I did a section for the ones that I'm posting on Poshmark. And then I did one basket for like um, things that I could give away things that I need to use right away I did one for that and then um the ones that I use frequently so yeah that's just me separating everything trying to get somewhat organized Now I'm getting ready to go ahead and wipe these baskets out, get the shelves wiped down and everything um, so that I could kind of set things up. So yeah, that's just me cleaning things off. I gotta show everything. That's... Yeah, I just use regular um, Lysol wipes to go ahead and get everything cleaned up. Um, these shelves like man i could have sworn i literally just wiped these down well i wipe them down daily because it's always things falling off so yeah but yeah wiping them down because they collect a lot of dust um yeah my headphones broke and i'm kind of mad about that because those are my favorite ones and then i also like to decorate the shelves too because i mean that's absolutely gonna make me use it more or pay attention to it more so yeah i'm just taking everything off and continuously you know wiping everything down um i had a, quite a few things set up on there and i just wanted to go ahead and get that stuff off and properly reorganize everything and so um in a second you'll see me putting the bands back up and I'm just organizing them basically how I just told you guys um, going from category so yeah and I'll explain it in person like at the end of the video too because I know I did that but for right now just to let you guys know um, I don't exactly remember how I organized them I think I did like um, the ones that I use the least and the ones that I'm planning on giving away at the bottom then I went up to um, the ones that I need to go ahead and um, 
matter of fact, no, actually, sorry, um, so the ones that I plan on giving away, and then the ones that I use the least, then I think it went to the ones that were almost empty, and I needed to use right away, then I went ahead and put the ones that I, uh, used for, like, travel, and then the ones that are, like, um, in the nice bottles and everything and then you have like three to two two to three decorative shelves and then at the top it's like the main ones that I always use so I think that's how I went ahead and sorted it but yeah I'm gonna stop talking and just let y'all watch it Also, another fact is I like to display, like, my jewelry and stuff. Um, they're nothing special, but, you know, just a couple of earrings that I wear frequently, a couple of necklaces. I think it looks cute, and it just adds, um, a touch of myself to, you know, the display, so it just doesn't act as functional as access, like, aesthetically pleasing, too. Which is not that aesthetically pleasing, but you know, it's nice looking. I like it. Um, so I just display like my pink Victoria's Secret perfumes I've had for years. Oh my god. Um, the Hollow Glam is like one of my favorites. I always wear it, it's almost gone, so I'm gonna have to buy another one to see if I can display it. Um, yeah, I got that Titanic necklace from Branson on my trip, and I'm just like, I'm gonna wear it so. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up here as well as like my Claire's jewelry that I just bought from down there and everything. Um, so yeah, and then my alarm clock, I wanted to of course sit that there. And then my wireless charger and my remote for my fan, things that I need to reach for, you know, automatically. So yeah. quick breakthrough so basically the way that I did this I'm shaking a lot so down at the bottom is all of my stuff that I'm going to put on Poshmark or give away because I don't use it anymore and then um some of the scents they kind of starting to make me sick I don't really like them anymore so yeah that's the bottom shelf the second one are the ones that I don't use as often so yeah i'm just putting them right there i'll probably use them around like fall and winter time and everything these right here in the third drawer are the ones that i need to use urgently the ones that i have to get rid of and as you can see literally some of them just have like probably like the smallest ounce of body wash in them so yeah those will get used up right away because i have them all sorted now the fourth one 
is all of my travel size items, stuff that I can take with me and everything, stuff that I can just throw in my purse really quickly, hand creams and stuff like that. Um, the fifth one is just my Hollow Glam perfumes. I like to put those on display. Those are from Victoria's Secret, so they just got a pretty vibe to them, so I like to put them on display, and they're almost gone. Unfortunately, this is like my favorite um spray around high school this is like my third one that i've had um since it came out and now you can't find it anywhere i've had this one for a few years a few years so i'm like the bottle is it's literally a drop of perfume in there so after it's gone i might just leave it on display for a little while longer because i just like the look of it i started looking on poshmark to see if anybody was selling any and it's plenty of people selling them so maybe i'll go back and get them and then for me this is my charger that i use like my um what do you call it my wireless not wireless it has a wire that goes to it i just don't have it plugged in um but so i won't have to plug the y'all know what this is i just you know see my phone on top of it and it starts charging um and then I have like different little earrings and jewelry that I always wear. These are like my main things. This I actually got from the Titanic when I went. Um, I'll show you guys. Well, I'm getting ready to post like a what I got from Branson video. So look forward to that. But yeah, I have been wearing it a couple of days um, after I got it. So I really like that. Everybody thought I was going to keep it in the bag. But no, that's not what I do. Um, so yeah, what are we on? And then this is just my fan, um, you know, the remote to my fan. Um, honestly, I can just hook it onto the back of it, but I'm like clumsy and stuff, so I'll literally knock it over. Um, but yeah, and then my Echo Spot is here. That comes in handy because it's like a little opening back here to just slide it through and that way the wire can just go down and get attached so the fifth shelf has am i on the number one two three four five the sixth shelf <laughs> has like some earrings and stuff that i brought in the claire's at branson in branson so um and then my jewelry box you know got jewelry in it um got that from target it was a part of their uh disney princess collection and i just wanted it i'm gonna spray paint this um metallic silver just to you know match the vibes and everything and then i ended up getting um a let me turn some light on there you go um there's some more pink Victoria's Secret perfume and everything. Like I said, I used to use this. And I think this is the one from high school. Um, it's still good. It's still good. So don't be saying, oh, it's expired and this didn't. No, it's not expired. The lotion is like literally still creamy and everything. Like, it's still some good. Anyways, y'all know why I keep it up here. It's blue. It's my favorite color. So literally... I, I mean I don't even need to say no more after that it's pretty it got polka dots and stuff on it like it's just pretty vibes I like to put them on display I still use it like it's literally right here I still use it all the time but um I mostly use that as a room spray fun fact um I actually do have the room spray hopefully I don't knock anything down trying to get to it yeah and it's almost gone <laughs> It's almost, um, I was going to put it on display too, but yeah, it's literally down here. I used to use this all the time. I still got the tag on it and everything. So once I get finished with it, probably put some water in it and use it for like, uh, my hair or either I'll put, try to make another little, um, room spray and put in here. Cause that was a really good room spray or whatever. I liked it. it um, but, uh, um, so this um so yeah i just displayed some more jewelry and stuff that i wear every single day and then this is some more stuff that i got from out of town at branson you know i picked up some earrings can't really see it like that sorry about the lighting um these are like one of my favorite i was trying to show you guys earlier one of my favorite 
one of my favorite pairs of earrings and you still can't see I don't know what's going on with my camera today you know and then there's some new stuff that I bought from Branson little J necklace like I said I'll show you guys in another video and then the very last at the top I went ahead and stood those up these are the ones that I literally mainly use I got doubles of everything as you can see some of the stuff is already gone because I've used it up I always use it you know stuff like sweet pea I've went through I don't know how many bottles of that carried away um I went through like three bottles um midsummer daydream oh my god like this is almost gone this is my second bottle it's completely full um and then back here we got cucumber melon winter candy apple i only wear that during the uh, winter time of course and then pink we have another pink you know and i i use it from time to time but not like that or whatever but i use it i use it often i just spray it with other perfumes because i like to mix my perfume sometimes and then we got peony i got it from marshall's um got this from marshall's too Marshall's had some good perfumes too, so you know, just yeah. They um, so yeah, these are the ones that I mostly use, and yeah, so yeah, this is how I decided to put it up. And of course, I'm like right here in the bed, so I like to have like my charger and stuff handy for me to just sit my phone right there and everything. But yeah, this is how I did it. I said I was gonna show you guys how I was gonna do that, and then you'll see me put. This last shelf on Poshmark or give some away to, you know, friends and family because I can't, I, I already have too much as you can see. And then, um, there was more than this. Um, I ended up throwing some away and then, yeah, I just, I just wanted to go ahead and get this over with. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This crazy mess right here. It's literally me trying to rush and put together my mom's birthday gift, which um, you'll see. I bought her a furniture set, and I was having the hardest time trying to put this chair together. Literally, it's easy. Yeah, a very, very hard time. <laughs> Look at the hair. <laughs> it's easy, but the angles you have to lay in to kind of get the screws in oh my god it did a number on me my body everything but at the end of the day i was happy that i finally got finished with it actually let me mention i was up until like 3 a.m in the morning mind you she's in the room right now she was like trying to hide and cover her eyes and not peek and everything i was like girl you know what this is like you might as well just you know that's like the hardest part of being you know in a household with family you can't surprise them with anything because they gonna see it obviously like you walk in the door bam there go the furniture and this was just me being silly i finally got this color in this outfit and a top that matched so i was kind of happy about it i'm sorry oh my god Oh, this is so cringy, like, looking at it and everything. I just wanted to be... I wanted to show y'all. And here's us outside. I think um, this was all the next day. Oh, my God. Um, still putting the furniture together. Oh, my God. My cousin was a lifesaver, and he helped me put the rest of the stuff together. And then this was like my first official project that I submitted for my school and everything. Um, she just wanted like a vision of where we were as far as like our artwork and what do we do. Um, I had a couple of old pieces from when I did at the community college. You know, just, you know, random little pieces or whatever it ain't amazing or nothing like that but simple work um that i had fun and really enjoyed doing so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that because that was also a part of my day now getting to the very 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 tedious part <laughs> and it is now 11 12 in the 
I was gonna say evening at night and I am setting up for my mom's like surprise little backdrop situation. I always wanna do something for her every year. You know, I'm not able to do much, but the least I could do is like set her up a backdrop. I know she liked to take pictures and she had her pretty, oh my God, her, that shirt was so pretty and it made, it made, mm, that shirt was everything she had a little shirt design and everything i'm gonna show you guys pictures on the screen in a minute but yeah um here's you know me starting off i had to get my brother i was like you get your tail up here and help me with these balloons <laughs> balloons was popping and everything and this lady was literally in the room sleep i was like yeah you can use some good sleep me on the other hand i was just trying to tidy up and clean up and everything because that's the one thing that I want for my mom on her birthday is, yeah, I'm she gonna get mad at me for this. <laughs> That's the one thing that I want for her on her birthday is to be able to relax and um enjoy her day and not have to worry about cleaning up and everything. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I was trying to accomplish before I went to bed. I'm not going to bed for a very long minute. when i tell you i was exhausted i mean exhausted and i literally just got done from being up doing that school work and then i wanted to go ahead and get this finished for her not to mention i was up two nights in a row trying to put that stuff together but this is all for my mom so i don't even care yeah and it turned out pretty nice i actually you know this was a 15 dollars set from target you know so yeah, this was, like, very fun and easy. I just wish I wasn't so tired. Um, and I was actually supposed to be at work um, the next day. I think I was supposed to be at work at, like, 10. But I ended up getting sick in the morning, so I had to call off. I still love looking at that. <laughs> she said we're going to keep it up for um, the rest of... I, why can't I film today? The rest of September. I don't know why I got on her. It's just a, a random video. I've been doing a lot of random videos lately. Um, so... I oh, don't know. I'm getting ready to go. It is now. What time is it? It's like 10.58. 10.58. And I just got done doing my workout. I was not about to film that. Um, since I've been slacking. It's been about two weeks. Two weeks since I've done a workout. Um. So, yes, today is what? Um, August 8th. And, yeah, it's 10.30 in the morning. Um, I'm probably finna go hop in the shower and make me a smoothie and fix me some breakfast real quick. Just before. Yeah, because my hair is looking a mess. Um... Yeah, I want to go get a silk press, so I'm just going to Alta, and I'll, you know, which Alta, I, st I just love that decor, it is so pretty, and I'm messing it up with this fan back here, and then that's her, um, her outdoor chair, me and my cousin, oh my god, if my cousin wouldn't have helped me, I probably would have been days, um, trying to get that 
set done which it was so easy to build it was just the simple chairs oh my god these chairs uh it's worth it because it's nice and everything but i'm just like it was so hard to build hard to build it was easy to build but it was just the the angles that you had to move in to 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 get the chair built it, it was difficult and um I got her, I just got her take fire pit. My Alexa is reminding me to take a shower. <laughs> I just got her fire pit yesterday. It was $50. Hold on. Yeah, so I, oh, I almost slipped. Um, yesterday I had just got her, um, her fire pit. Cause I was like, might as well just go ahead and get it. That was the only one left. I didn't think the fire pits was going to be gone like that. And then one of my coworkers or whatever that works over there in that area, she was like pulling rugs and stuff to the back room. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait, 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 what's those? Where are you going with those? And she was like, they are getting salvaged out and they were, you know, not being sold anymore. So I was kind of mad about that because I really wanted some outdoor rugs, but I didn't know where they put them or where they were. She said them rugs got marked down to like $10. And I'm just looking like, like I could have had it out. It was a black little, um, little plastic little rug or whatever. Um, and it was black and white and that's exactly what I needed, you know, but I guess I can just call it a loss or whatever. And I'm going to see if I can look on Amazon and see if I can find me a long, outdoor rug for her because the fire pit is like a dark brown color it's dark brown and black i think <laughs> if it's black then never mind i'm gonna just get a regular one but i think um like basically the vibe is like a dark chocolate brown and then black so yeah i'm just trying to get the outdoors finished and then this house it seemed like literally every single time me, my mom, my cousin, we wash the dishes. It's bam, piling back up. Then next thing you know, the floor, I promise you, my mom swept the floor like four times. I turn around, sweep the floor like like three times. And it's back exactly the way it started, which I know everybody, everybody got jobs, everybody in and out. So, of course, the floor is just going to continuously get like this. And then I bought her a Dyson what was that last christmas i bought her a dyson the dyson broke like after the second time that i used it the dyson broke so i was trying to look at a protection plan they wanted me to contact dyson i'm like i bought this protection plan at target through allstate and y'all telling me to contact dyson like what sense does that make so contact dyson haven't heard back from them contact dyson again haven't heard back from them so i think i'm gonna literally just have to look up um a place that can fix them and take it there and pay some money to get it fixed and then i'm like i've been trying to i'm gonna see if i'm able to but i don't think they're gonna give me a refund for the protect protection plan i don't think they're gonna give me a refund for it so um that sucks but um yeah i mean Total a loss. Um, anyways, back to at least it's just five minutes that I took up so far. Um, yeah, I'm about to go have a shower, eat, go get my hair done, and I was thinking about getting my nails done. If I get my nails done, I'm gonna do like something simple, like maybe some orange ombre fall nails, and then in October, I'm gonna go get like a refill or whatever, and my refill is gonna be like pretty uh halloween kind of nails i feel like i haven't had nails in years like man last time i had nails i got my nails done for my birthday and they were like um they were really cute i'm not gonna lie but it's not exactly how i wanted them like you know but she did a really good job for what you know what she did with them um but yeah I don't know. I just got on her just because I know I haven't been on her for a minute. I know I've been busy with schoolwork. With schoolwork. So, um, I I probably done missed out on quite a few videos, honestly. Um, 
not videos posting so yeah me posting videos i think i've only posted like two videos within the past couple of um within the past two weeks and i've now changed my days to um because i filmed i changed my days to tuesdays thursdays and sundays so today is thursday so we're gonna see if i can finish that second half of the branson trip go ahead and get that posted um, but yeah, I did film two different videos, one for another channel of mine, um, and then one for, uh, the Branson unboxing. So, um, what I got for Branson video, which honestly, it's weird because I feel like I got more stuff from Van Branson and, um, maybe most of the stuff that I had bought from Branson was probably food. So <laughs> that's probably why it's gone and I'm looking confused. Um, well, no, not mostly food, but most of the stuff that I probably did with my money was pay bills and payments and stuff. So, you know, but yeah, I'm, um, I guess I'm just, oh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do. I got like a, a lot of ideas, especially for, um, I have a lot of, I, I, why do I keep getting tongue tied? I have a lot of ideas, especially for October. Oh my God. Halloween is my favorite. I love Halloween. I love Halloween. Like, so I got I got a lot of ideas. I don't know if I'm gonna get through half of them. And then I have like some sewing videos that I want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and the school was supposed to be sending me a sewing machine, but I don't know if they're gonna send it to me now or when I actually start taking sewing classes. So I guess it's probably when I start taking those classes because right now I'm I probably don't need it right now but i'm gonna just i'm gonna just bite the bullet and go ahead and buy me um a sewing machine because i'm gonna i'm gonna need it anyway because after school is over with which that probably won't be till like four years from now but after school is over with i'm probably gonna have to send it back and yeah so um yeah um i don't know if i'm gonna film the process of me getting my hair done because a lot of people don't like to be filmed. I'm going to ask her just to, you know, what you call it. But this is my first time, you know, actually my first time in what, like 11 years? Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Wow. Yeah, I was on, I was exactly um well 12 years the first time in 12 years because i just turned 24 last year so um first time in 12 years that i'm actually finna go get my hair flat earned you know by a professional because i ain't gotten my hair done by a professional in so long um <sighs> so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i I want to order some more stuff for my lip glosses and everything. I want to feel for my lip glosses. I know I have a couple assignments that are due Sunday. Today is Thursday, so I got some time, but I got a two-day off. Oh, headache. I ain't ate nothing. Okay. I got a two-day off day, so today and tomorrow, which is really, really nice. I really needed that, So, um, but I'm mad because I'm was supposed to be scheduled off Tuesdays and they made me work Tuesday and then I'm just now off today um so yeah I'm gonna try to go ahead and get as much done as I can today because I'm like I'm done with this clutter I'm done with this clutter if I showed y'all my room after all of those cleaning videos uh well cleaning days because i've only done two cleaning videos i've only posted two cleaning videos but after all of those cleaning uh posts y'all would be so mad at me right now it's like literally and when i tell you i've been cleaning and then it get right back messed up from me jumping up and trying to rush and go somewhere 
I'm just dysfunctional and disorganized and Amazon finna be my best friend for these past for these next couple of weeks. I've been going to work and everybody being like, oh my God, like girl, you buying something every day. I know. I know. Because literally I'm like to that point where I'm really trying to get organized and then I'm buying stuff for the outdoor patio situation because I want to get that decorated and everything um for my mom because I'm like it's past overdue her birthday was the first it's the eighth so I just want to get that finished or whatever and the only reason that I haven't finished it yet is because um literally I gotta go get I gotta spray back there I've heard you Alexa hey come on some take a shower um I'm filming on my phone so um it's yeah the wall that I'm trying to put the projector and stuff against because I wanted it like I wanted to do like a, a movie night at some point or whatever so the wall that I wanted to put the project the wall that I initially was about to put the furniture up against it's not gonna work out it's outside you know so of course we gonna have like spiders and stuff back there duh but I'm finna go get some spray and probably some um some traps and put back right there or whatever and then I'll probably grab some of those um see if those little what do you call those I'm gonna have to take a picture and insert them on the screen um you put like little candles in them or whatever and I'm gonna get like uh some of those little off candles and sit them in there and just sit it next to that wall that's out there um and I think I don't even know if her grill is like it's just time for updated appliances because um all of our appliances are like old and outdated so I just she been getting into appliances lately so I'd be trying to do stuff for my mom not just for her birthday or for Christmas but just in general you know at least to try to help out because she 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 be all over places especially with the this old stuff breaking on us like man because uh the i come home the blender been broke and stuff so she got a new blender for her birthday um which i i literally just texted her and asked her i'm like Mama, can i use your blender she like um thumbs up <laughs> so i guess that's a yeah in her um opinion or whatever but um yeah i gotta I, i'm just trying to get it under control and i'm trying to find like a shutters not shutters but like the little um nets that you would um use a wood staple gun to staple into the wood out there around the patio i'm gonna show y'all how it look in a second i just don't want to lot uh let a whole bunch of nets in the house oh my god man sick of them but we've been leaving the doors open too much lately so of course they've been getting in and, and getting on my nerves but yeah let's see yep it's a whole bunch of them out here too i'm gonna make sure ain't nothing out there before i come out my here okay so i'll be looking for bees and stuff and uh of the little quarter it look, well it looks a lot better i'm gonna say that um it looks a lot better i swept a little bit just a little bit out here so um and it's so nice oh my god to just be outside for a little minute um but let me show you let me see if i can get a good view because we we had like bee nest and everything and my mom came back here my mom my brother my um my cousin who was mowing the line for us like everybody then came back here we done knocked out like you know I ain't doing it I'm scary as hell and then bees ain't my thing so um bee nest or whatever we had like two of them one in uh like over here in this little area and then one like up there in that little area and they knocked it down but yeah this is basically how the outside looks right now this is the brand new furniture that I had to sit out here. It was a little cricket, little grasshopper, whatever you try to call it, trying to hop on up under there. And 
dude outsmarted me because I thought he was over here. And then I'm like moving the furniture and stuff. Why this dude was over here by the door about to get into the house? Huh. These uh, little animals and insects are very, very smart. So don't, you know, but look, um, these. So like these little shutters or whatever. I got this from Target. And this one is broken. It's a whole bunch of kids that have been running through her and they, you know, it got broken. So, um, it's still usable, but yeah, I'm gonna probably replace it. So, a net like this, but thicker and, um, longer and wider. So, it can go around this little perimeter up here. So, this whole little perimeter, but then this little one has, like, steps right here. Let me pay attention before I fall. It got like steps right here or whatever. So literally I just, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm very much trying to figure it out. I want to step down here, but I only got on flip flops. Yeah. So like it got little steps and stuff. And I literally, it would be so nice to just have this area um, cleaned out and um, nice looking and everything. So the furniture it's gonna go over here we're gonna have like the couch it's gonna be like right there and then well after i move all the rest of this stuff out the way it's gonna be like right here in the middle and then i got two of these chairs the other one is in the house so that one is gonna go on that side this one gonna go on here here's the little ottoman um thing and it has like a little glass that goes on top of it and so it's gonna go in the middle and then we got the fire pit um i think i don't know how this how can I do that? Um, I think I'm gonna just throw the fire pit um, in front of, like right here in this area in front of there or whatever. And then we gonna have like more chairs. We gonna have more, uh, cause my uncle had ended up buying long time, long time ago, a couple of years ago, he had ended up buying like two red lawn chairs. And as you can see, like, with the living room and everything her colors are kind of like red and brown like a dark chocolate brown and black um so literally that's you know that's the vibe we want for well i'm going for for right now to kind of help put that stuff together and it's like i'm not trying to do too too much because winter time is about to come so that's the idea of like um this whole part like kind of netting this whole section off you know so that all of that snow and stuff won't get in and that's why i want like a waterproof and a thick um net that's suited for weatherproof so that i can yeah because i'm gonna staple it the inside border like that little hump right there i'm gonna staple it in there instead of going on the other side and stapling it and then i'm gonna have like some waterproof weatherproof like big um good sturdy material lights you know and i'm gonna take oh that's a wasp that's a wasp <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh see that's why i can't be out here like that let me go ahead and go in the house I just wanted to show y'all how I look. Oh, that that thing is huge. And that's the only one that's been back there lately. Which is a good thing, but it's a bad thing. Because that means they're all on the outside of my window. I have like a big old black casing in the front of... I'm not going outside again. In the front of my window. And that's why my... You know, if the wind hits my window, it shakes really. And it be waking me up. And keeping me up and everything. My window is very, very sensitive. But... I um I think they've been flying on trying to get inside of that little net that I have on my window. So that's another thing that I ain't even gonna get into. Um but yeah, so just find like um some thick material to put around the border of there and then some lights and then that's it for that part. And then of course sweep the deck and everything. I wanna spray it down like in between the little um what do you call it like the little parts and everything sorry for 32 got a uh, sweep and mop that because everybody of course everybody comes in the front door so it's gonna be um dirty and nasty 
but we not okay so um but yeah so basically yeah because i got quite a bit that i just because honestly today i'm not doing nothing because my mom had already um wiped down the bathroom everybody been kind of keeping up well my mom just did the dishes yesterday so i do them today and i kind of wipe down the bathroom and everything and then yeah sweep them off the floor because i'm not doing too too much today now tomorrow i may do a little more detailed cleaning tomorrow so but today i'm already behind schedule because it's 11 20 i'm i gotta be at the appointment by two o'clock um, and it's literally right by my job. It's at the altar by my job. So hopefully, oh, and I can give me some, um, some food. I've been wanting Panda Express so bad, so bad lately. Um, so yeah, Panda Express canes and, um, fried rice. Anyways. Cause I'm talking too much, but yeah, I just want to get that little back patio section together. And I was turning the camera to show y'all the wall that I was trying to put the projector and stuff on, but big old wasp came over there, so I was like, nah, let me come on back. Um, so yeah, here's my projector that I bought last year. From there's my projector, simple projector, um, it works. So I just got to figure out how to connect it to my phone. And then it's easy to go buy a, uh, the one that I actually, the projector screen that I wanted, it was like $70. That's too much. I'm going to just hold off on that one or whatever. It is a well-built one, but you know, um, for, for right now, I feel like I can literally just get one that's like $19.99 and we can nail it to the wall for the time being or use that thick tape that they use uh double-sided the little thick um what do they call it um velcro to put it onto the wall so yeah and then we have a popcorn machine that we've used a couple of times and then i found another little popcorn machine it's like 19 dollars at target if i need to go grab that um for myself because it's the one that just falls out by itself i insert a picture of it on the screen um so yeah <sighs> i'm gonna be tired today and then i just got done washing my rugs finally 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 like i'm just in the mood to clean and get organized i i'm gonna i just ordered some little bins and stuff from um amazon i ordered two of those well they came in a two pack and then um i just from michael's so i'm gonna try to organize all of my papers and stuff in there Got some uh, planners and uh, some binders and stuff that I just bought from Target with some folders. I'm going to really organize my papers and everything. I just emptied all of these. Okay. Just emptied all of these. And this is because this is the one that I take with me. I can, you know, just roll it with me wherever I need to go. So, you see, I already put, like, my keychains and stuff in here. Um, for when I'm making keychains. And then I'm just going to add, like um three different kinds of lip gloss in here and probably like scrunchies here um and then i still got some stuff over here i need to fix this shelf right here it keeps falling for some strange reason but hey it is what it is um i guess i'm just gonna have to try to find something else to help support it or screw it in on the sides to help support it but yeah i'm gonna put the shelf back up and i'm probably going maybe i can put these because these are all my crop charms i have so so many when i tell y'all i got a lot coming to my website um so look forward pre-launch uh september 16th and it's going to be a very small launch it's not going to be too many products on there but it's just to get dip my feet in um just to get my uh feet dipped in or whatever i said that already but yeah i'm like trying to get this stuff uh very well organized because you know this little setup over here which is it's working for the most part but um i feel, i still feel like i need to 
really organized or whatever and then i'm a pop up a little insert of the stuff that i'm buying from amazon to um help me out i got another thing to put papers in that's like a smaller thing to put papers in versus this one this is like for papers and vinyl and um my avery print labels and everything because i'm just like there's no space with these drawers why am i taking up space with these drawers and when i can just have something you know simple like this you know to to go ahead and throw my stuff in you know just simple and then with these jars of course to go ahead and throw some of my lip glosses in because i feel like this that's gonna be a lot easier for me to just grab and go and then as you can see i got these up here you know drying and everything well they've been dry i need to go ahead and take them out put them in uh some bags and yeah and then i'm gonna end up using big boy over here to make me some batches um i'm finishing up with drying these and well these are already dry i just put them in here from here so that i can put those in there and i'm just i i think i have like three more things to do for my business and then it'll be all set so um i tried doing a mail system with the post office it's not working out um i explained the situation in another video um but i've been up there four times four times why do i have keys to a completely different mailbox and then they want me to bring the keys that I currently have back. And then I'm going to have to pay a fine. And that makes no sense because y'all never gave me the correct keys to begin with. Why am I paying for something? I've already wasted enough money on y'all to begin with. So, I'm going to get that situation under control. That mailbox is about to get closed because I don't have time to deal with it. And we finna go through UPS. So, I'm finna... <laughs> I'm finna get online or either I'm finna go up there and I'm, we're gonna go through UPS because not finna deal with uh i'm not finna deal with them that's too much um i thought i was going you know a safe the safe route with um the post office and everything but no i'm finna go through ups i just bought all them damn post office boxes for nothing so um you know what we can use it for i'm gonna use it for my mom's poshmark and i'm gonna use it for my poshmark so i have three different poshmarks i got like uh 2000s a 90s you know um kind of you know poshmark closet and everything and then i have a updated closet where i'm just selling like all of my old stuff that doesn't fit or that i never wore and then i have a closet for my business specifically for passion 16 because um why not you know so i can use it for that and then my mom has a poshmark um at nay girl three i believe so yeah that's just her old stuff or stuff that she's never worn that she put on poshmark or whatever which her stuff is like really nice like nice quality stuff um so yeah i encourage you to check that out um let me see i'm gonna make one for my brother too because he need one he need one bad um <clears throat> yeah i'm done i took up 30 minutes <laughs> i'm done it's just with me wanting to babble um yeah and then i'll explain about school and stuff i'm trying to get those videos together and everything because <sighs> some people wanted to hear about those and yeah i mean this video is probably going to be inserted with others. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. It's it, it, me babble. It's very, very, very much appreciated. Um, And yeah, sorry for the random video. But um, I just needed to get on here and kind of talk and clear some stuff up. Just in case any confusion was um, about but yeah so day two part two coming today um 
September 8th. And then the what I got from Branson uh, should be coming next Tuesday. So that video should be out next Tuesday along with part two of part three. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.